Season of Discovery Phase 6 is launching November 21st, in a little less than one month. And although I was looking for something other than this article, this is the only information that I found uh, released from Blizzard. So we're going to go old school and just read through the article, see what's coming in Phase 6. Now, obviously, from this screenshot, we see um, that we're getting uh, AQ. And that was no surprise. Um, that's the next raid in the in the tier in the progression slot, so it's kind of known. However, it looks like Dragons of Nightmare in the Nightmare Grove is coming, which is really cool. So um, where the incursions are, right? Um, in later phases of Classic, they added the actual um, green dragons. These are going to become a new raid, which is amazing. So let's see here. Um, before you go into Encourage, you're going to begin your journey with the Scepter of Shifting Sands quest line. Uh, I think that's actually standard. Um, so November 12th, which is um, two weeks from now, um, we're going to get the Scepter of Shifting Sands quest line uh, with regional resets. And then November 21st, about a week later, the Encourage war efforts begin. And then, amazingly enough, a week later, uh, the war effort ends. So I'm going to guess that regardless of what we do in the war efforts, the war effort's just going to end. So I'm not, I'm not sure how this is going to play out. Like, if nobody does anything, is it just going to work? Uh, I'm going to assume so. And I, th and I think that this is just because this is seasonal. Um, so let's see here. Uh, December 4th, the war her heralding the arrival of Anubishar and the Karaji warriors begin. And then the Temple of An Karaj and the ruins of An Karaj and the Nightmare Groves open up. So December 6th is when the raids open up. Uh, we have a lot of uh, pre stuff going on here. So players can begin a quest series to create the Scepter of Sands, which will enable them to ultimately ring the gong on the realm they are on. So players who complete the quest between December 4th and December 6th will receive the Black Karaji Resonating Crystal, which will summon a writable Karaji Battle Tank that can be used in the outdoor world as well as the temple. So that is, um, that's this ugly guy right here. And I believe in Classic, they were only able to be used in the instance. I don't, I don't know if this one was able to be used outside or not, but it looks like for at least Season of Discovery, <clears throat> it is. So that's cool. A new mount. Um, join the war effort. So supply the war effort against the Sinister Forces. Both Horde and Alliance can bring steady stream of supplies to the Valley of Spirits in Orgrimmar or the Military Ward in Ironforge. Um, to turn in for war effort supplies containing useful items and alliance accommodations of signet or horde accommodation signets, which can be used to gain reputation with your faction. I'm actually interested to know what useful items is. <clears throat> so that, that'll be interesting. Obviously, okay, while many of the necessary supplies, yeah, that's... But this is cool. They can continue to contribute materials to gain uh, basically rep even after the war effort ends, so that's good. But again, I don't know what would happen if your realm doesn't join the war effort. If they just say, nah. So that'll be that'll be interesting. I'm sure no one's gonna do that, but okay, pushing back the enemy. Join the battle to push back the Nubisha and the uh warriors, which can be found in the Barons and Thousand Needles. Okay, so this is the limited time event. So this is the this one. And <clears throat> defeat, defending against these incursions will give players a chance to earn gold, experience, and reputation, along with a higher chance. This is only going to last two days. Um, it's a 48-hour war. And then, so after the 48-hour war, all of the raids open up. So, um... Players will need to decide how far they want to push their luck to earn the greatest reward with the new system. After each boss, they'll need to make a choice between cashing in the rewards or enabling more challenging mechanics and trying for better loot. You'll need to balance this risk 
and reward against each other, as too many deaths in the raid could mean your team earns nothing at all. Okay, so how this reads is you can enable hard mode for bosses. And if you defeat the boss in hard mode, you're going to have a, have a chest that you can redeem. If you redeem it, great, that's it. If you don't redeem it, and you continue with hard mode, you can continue to earn better rewards in that chest. That, that's how I'm understanding this. However, if there's too many deaths in hard mode, you could lose the chest. <laughs> um, I like hard mode, right? I, I like the different difficulty levels, right? Where they did heat one, heat two, heat three, right? The, the different affixes in, in Blackwing Lair. I think that's, that's cool because if you don't want to do that, right? If you just want the standard raid, great. You just have the standard raid. Um, there was the only difference between this was just more loot, right? It wasn't better loot, right? There wasn't normal and heroic versions of loot. So as long as this stays that way, I, I think it's fine, right? So if this is like the extra chest at the end of Blackwing Lair, then I think that's fine, right? So you enable hard mode, uh, you have a chance to get the chest, right? If you say, okay, hey, turn in my chest, uh, and, and we'll just roll with whatever, whatever we get, fine. And if, you know, and, and that way, if you complete the entire raid with, without too many deaths, all on hard mode, you just get an extra chest with just more of the same loot. As long as they don't add specific loot to this chest, I think we'll be fine. I think it's interesting um, with the fact that it says um, if there's too many deaths, However, and I would like to, to know what too many deaths are, right? Um, is it like per person? Is it a full wipe? You know, like if you go in with 20 and too many deaths is 40, that means that's two full wipes and you're done. Which is going to hurt progression, right? If, you're, if you are enabling hard mode for progression and you have too many deaths, then you just lose your chest. I think that that's going to hamper um, hard mode progression, most of all. I, I don't think that this is going to have very much more impact except for y you just miss out on extra loot, which sucks. But again, as long as it's not specific loot, I don't, I don't think that there's a problem with this. Okay. Um, the Runes of Ankaraj is an outdoor 10-player raid located in Silthus. Okay. Six bosses. 10 plus players, so it's a 10, 10 man uh, raid, and it resets twice weekly. Okay. The Temple of Ankaraj, nine bosses, 20 players, 20 or more, and it resets every week. Okay. So the lower raid, you can just keep going. Um, all right. Yeah. I mean, that's, that looks pretty standard. Enter the Nightmare Grove. Players can now face the Dragons of the Nightmare, Emerus, Lathan, Terriar, and Yosandra in a single instance of the Nightmare Grove. Players can access the Nightmare Grove from the Emerald Dream Groves and will fight one of the four Dragons of Nightmare in whichever grove they arrive first. Thereafter, players can teleport to each boss in sequence. Interesting. So, I'm going to assume that these entrances are going to be where the where the incursion portals are. Um, and it's interesting that you fight the first boss um, in whichever grove you enter first. I, I wonder if there's going to be an optimal route to kill these bosses, right? So um, maybe, let, let's just say Emrys, right? If he is the easiest one to get down, I see a lot of people gathering in that one i mean it's not going to really matter because it's instanced but i can see where one of these four are going to be the easiest so people are going to try and kill that one first because at least they get something and then they can go on um with that so that's actually interesting that's going to be fun 
Um, it'll be inter I'm assuming that these are all um, equal item levels. Um, so that'll be good. That'll give us a lot of in-game content to do. We look forward to having you join us in Season of Discovery Phase 6. There is a whole lot missing here. Um, so basically, <clears throat> basically, Phase 6 is nothing but raids. I'm actually really disappointed in the fact that there are no runes. There's no new runes. Like the whole point of Season of Discovery was the rune system. Like that's what made it fun. I'm surprised that there's no runes. I would have I would have loved to see new runes, right? Like like that's what makes this so interesting. Every phase you had a chance at a different build, right? So I'm going to assume now, I mean, obviously different builds are going to become more, um, more powerful based upon your set bonuses. But I'm actually really disappointed that there's no new runes. I hope that there's more than this. I, I hope that this is just a teaser. I hope that, that there is um, a lot of extra stuff that they're not mentioning. If there is, though, it, it's interesting that they're not mentioning it because they seemed so open about um, other phases, right? There was a lot of hype going into some of these other phases. And now for phase six, instead of a video, instead of a bunch of stuff, we, we literally get a, a news post on this. So um, I'm excited for the raids. Uh, I'm sad to see that there's no runes. Um, little, little disappointing because I think that that's what, at least for me, that's what drew me in to Season of Discovery. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little upset at no runes. Uh, however, it will be interesting to see this because it awards experience, and um, there's going to be some in Paralysis and Thousand Needles for lower level players. So I, I wonder if, I mean, obviously there's still people leveling. So I think that that's why they're doing it. Um, I wonder how much XP that this gives because it might be beneficial to, um, you know, it might, it might just make it easier to level up uh, another alt, which if they're not giving us new runes. Maybe I try another class, right? I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's beneficial to, uh, to level up another class right now. So, yeah, I mean... Not a whole lot coming into phase six, apparently. I, I, I hope that this isn't it, but uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about this phase uh, and what you're actually hoping to see in this phase. If, if maybe there's a surprise, what do you want it to be?